give me some Chick-fil-A because uh, I'm a basic white girl like that. F and A, Cotton, F and A. What's up, F and A speeders? Welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna do a quick little review on the Trackhawk. <laughs> been seeing these things in a lot of different people's uh, channels I've been seeing a lot of people doing them I want to give a real review because most of these people don't own these things some people do but most of them don't own these things so they don't really they just are driving it for a day or a week or whatever this is a 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk the camera for backing up is phenomenal just so you know I want to go ahead and mention that the the giveaway is still going on so if you haven't gotten entered into the giveaway you need to go do that because I'm just giving away free money I'm just giving it away it literally takes 10 seconds to do the steps that need to be followed so if you haven't seen that first of all go ahead and like and subscribe and get yourself entered into the giveaway I've changed the giveaway a little bit it's still going to be going to be what I'm giving away is going to be $200 in Amazon gift cards as opposed to $100. Oh, that was a cop. Yo, I did not think that was a cop. I'm getting sidetracked. Squirrels everywhere. I want to do more giveaways. I want to continue to do these. I don't want this to just be a one-time thing. This isn't just a let me get subscribers deal. This is something that I want to do for all the people. I want to make videos for people and I want to give stuff to people. That's what I want to do. Let's get to the review. Now, as a track hawk owner, um, I'm kind of biased because I I love this thing. Um, I, I wouldn't... I don't know how many other vehicles, how many other SUVs I would take over this thing. Now, I've never driven a Lamborghini Urus, but I would consider one of those only problem being I'm not a fan of Lamborghini that much I, I like Lamborghinis but I'm not that big of a fan of them because I've read nothing but bad reviews on maintenance and all that other shit and I'm not I'm not trying to buy something that I have to dump a bunch of money into within the first couple of months which I guess technically I did with this but that wasn't for the same reason though I'll give you a little background on um, this Jeep in particular so <clears throat> I bought this, she's not paying attention, I bought this in December, I can't remember, but I bought this in 2019, at the end of 2019 if I'm not mistaken, and so I've had it for a little over a year. As soon as I bought this thing, I ordered the leg maker intake. I did a lot of shopping around and looked at what other people were doing and all that. The only real reason why I went with the leg maker intake was because it's made of carbon fiber. That was the only real reason that I went with that one. I could I, there's people out there that claim that the JLTs or whatever those other brands are that are out there, the B Woody and all that other shit. There's people that claim that they make more power than the leg makers, but then there's also the leg maker fans out there who have the leg maker that say that they make more power and whatever it doesn't matter an intake's not going to get you that much power i don't care who you are an intake doesn't get you that much power that's not why i got the intake i got the intake because when i first bought this thing you could hear the supercharger but just barely and i could not stand that if i'm going to have a supercharged vehicle i want to know that my vehicle supercharged now what i didn't realize is that not only do you know that your vehicle is supercharged when you put an intake on one of these things Everyone else knows that you have a supercharged vehicle when you put an intake on one of these things. That supercharger that comes on these from the factory is extremely loud once you take the noise deadeners and all that crap out. So once you put an intake on one of these, expect to hear supercharger noise forever. Unless you do what I did and uh, go catless with uh, basically no mufflers. I like loud. I like attention getters. I like the police to go, I have to pull him over right now. Like that's, that's the kind of vehicles 
eventually I'm gonna get under there and I'm actually gonna try to pinpoint the situation and figure out what's causing it. Um, I think it's just there's a piece of metal somewhere that's not one of the bolts might be stripped out um, but it's touching something and that's what's making the popping noise that I'm I say it's a popping noise it's, it's hard to explain. Other than that I've had absolutely no issues with this vehicle. Like I said, this thing hasn't been stock in a year. Uh, when I first bought it, I put the intake on it. I'm not saying that that does anything, but when I first bought it, I put the intake on it, and then shortly after that, I went ahead and did a pulley, injectors, a tune, a thermostat. This thing was running uh, 690, spinning in an eighth with the previous mods. Since then, I've done a couple other things to it. I've made it a lot louder, and if anything is happening I can't really tell everything else I love about this thing I like the styling on the inside again I kind of I wish they would have done a little bit more with it but it doesn't really bother me this is this is my race car right now um, this is something that I'm, I'm I have a goal to achieve and I want to do it in this thing so other than that I like the interior the seats are comfortable I can go on a long ass ride in this thing uh, I drove it all the way to Miami from North Carolina, so, I mean, I, I don't remember how many hours that was, but I drove it from Charlotte, North Carolina, all the way down to Miami, which was, I think, like 13, 14, 15 hours, something like that, and was comfortable the whole time. I mean, obviously, I stopped for gas and to pee and all that stuff, but I was comfortable the whole time. It gets a lot of attention, but mainly because it's loud. If you want attention in one of these things, you, you have to make it loud, because then people were looking at it going, what the hell is that thing? If you don't want attention, leave the stock exhaust on it because it just looks like a regular Grand Cherokee. I mean, it really does. There's there's not a whole lot of difference. The only difference is the, the wheels, the Brembos. It doesn't have fog lights on the front, the tailpipes. Like, it's very minute things that are actually different about this car as opposed to the lower models of this car. So, if you want one of these just to go out and bust some ass, buy one and keep it stock you can still bust ass in a stock track hawk i promise i've done it am i saying this is the fastest thing on the planet no i'm not but this is the fastest suv on the planet hands down it is i've put about 10 grand into this thing at this point but i didn't have to i could have kept this thing completely stock and still went out and busted 80 percent of the people that i ran into on the road now around here we got a bunch of turbo mustangs and stuff motors are no joke. I will give them that. I hate Mustang with a passion. But those Coyote motors ain't no joke. Anyway, sidetracked again. This thing is full of squirrels. But yeah, all in all, I can't really complain about the vehicle. It's been good to me. I, it hasn't broken down on me, knock on wood. I've got 40,000 miles on it. And this thing hasn't done anything where I've had to stop on the side of the road. It hasn't overheated. It hasn't done anything. I mean, it's it's been perfectly fine. There hasn't been any misfires, nothing. I went in, I mean, I've changed all the spark plugs, but there's been absolutely no problems with this thing since I've had it. And I've beat the shit out of this thing. I don't drive this thing like it's a race car whenever I'm on the road, usually. Um, but you cannot be in this thing and have somebody pull up next to you who's staring at it and you and not floor it. You can't. You can't do it. You have to do it because people are wondering what the hell you got. And then you floor it and then they're like, what is that thing? It's just, it's unbelievable. Uh, this, this vehicle, there's one word for this vehicle and it is unbelievable. Another reason why I really, really love this thing too is you can go out and bust 90 to 95 percent of the people on the road that you see on an every day. I mean I know that there's way faster there's always a faster car out there there you are not the fastest person on the planet there is always somebody faster all in all the vehicle is great if anybody if if you have the money to buy a track hook over an SRT I absolutely 100 percent support that decision hands down I mean I know mo people don't talk crap about their own vehicles usually and all that but honest honest opinion
opinion on this vehicle right here, since I've had it, it's been nothing but joy. Nothing. This thing just, it amazes me. See, there's a guy behind me right now. The guy in the BMW is looking up my Instagram. Watch. <laughs> Seriously. If you've never been in a Trackhawk, find somebody that has one. I'll take you for a ride. I will. T if you're close to me, I will take you for a ride in my Trackhawk. It's it's unlike anything you've ever experienced. I promise. So there's a ton of videos out there of people doing ride-alongs and stuff in Trackhawks, and it's just riding in the passenger seat is a whole nother experience too. It's it's nothing like driving. Like. I'm not gonna let you drive the track on, but I will let you ride. And riding is actually super fun because you just get pinned against the seat and it doesn't stop. This thing pulls and pulls and pulls until about 100 and then it, then it kind of dies. Anyways, I don't remember if I said this at the beginning of this video or not, but uh, I'm gonna say it again. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like. Uh, like this video, hit the little bell so you get the notifications. We're gonna be trying to put out content as much as possible. I would like to get a video out, video out at least every other day. I got a new saying. This is gonna be my new saying from now on. Yesterday, on yesterday's video, I changed my name. On today's video, I've got a saying. This is gonna be my new saying from now on. Take the long way. Life's short, people. It really is. Life is very, very short. I know this wasn't much of a like actual real review on the track hog, but this this is looking at it from my point of view my perspective i drive this thing every day and i still would choose this over 90 percent of the vehicles on the road that's not a lie i i love this thing to death i know they're super expensive but they are definitely worth it that's a question that i see a lot is the track hawk worth it absolutely every penny if i had to go back and do it again i would absolutely spend the money on another track hawk if anybody knows if you can lower these things with a 315 on the stock wheel, I have 315 35 20s on the stock wheel, and I need to know if I can put the Ebach lowering springs on, because that's what I want to do. I want to put the the Ibach, I said Ebach, the Ibach lowering springs on this thing. I want to lower it. I want to do the B Woody suspension and all that stuff. Like that's that's the goal for this thing if you can lower these leave me a comment and let me know i know people lower them on the 305 i know that's possible i don't know if you can do it on the 315s though anyways i hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button